Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, the pineal gland in the brain releases less and less melatonin as we age, and thus blood and brain levels of melatonin decline very significantly as we get older. Now, numerous studies now show that the, the decline in melatonin is a major factor in making our brains more prone to memory loss, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease in the aging process. As such, a number of investigations and clinical trials have been performed in recent years to see if melatonin supplementation given to adults can block steps in Alzheimer's disease development and or help improve memory loss problems in patients with existing Alzheimer's disease or a mild cognitive impairment, which is really the first step in the development of Alzheimer's disease, this, this preliminary step called mild cognitive impairment. So they've done studies now to see if melatonin can be helpful. So animal studies certainly have been very clear in showing that animals that are bred to develop Alzheimer's disease genetically, or where Alzheimer's disease has been induced via the administration into the brain of a toxic drug called streptozotocin, that melatonin supplementation blocks many of the steps in Alzheimer's disease and improves or restores memory function in these animal studies. Now, more specifically, melatonin has been shown to help prevent several key aspects of Alzheimer's disease development. For instance, it blocks the synthesis of the toxic beta amyloid plaque in the brain, which is a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. Melatonin also enhances the clearance of beta amyloid plaque from the brain, helping to break it down and remove it. It also blocks the synthesis of toxic neurofibrillary tangles by maintaining normal tau brain structure and function. So another hallmark feature of Alzheimer's is when the tau protein breaks down and forms neurofibrillary tangles. Melatonin has been shown to help prevent that step as well. It also helps to prevent the shrinking of the hippocampus. That's the part of the brain where short-term memory is consolidated into long-term memory. Preserving that part of the brain, that hippocampus, is very, very important. It also helps to maintain the volume of what's called the lamina cribosa of the optic nerve. So as the lamina cribosa of the optic nerve shrinks, usually at the same time there's a shrinking of the hippocampus where you're consolidating short-term memory into long-term memory. So these are all incredible physiological uh, impacts and effects of melatonin in preventing steps that are directly linked to Alzheimer's disease. As reviewed in the 2020 publication in the Medical Science Monitor, clinical trials on humans have now shown that melatonin supplementation can reverse early stage memory loss, known as mild cognitive impairment, in a significant percentage of cases. Melatonin supplementation has also been shown in human imaging studies to help maintain the volume of the hippocampus and the lamina cribosa. So even in human studies, we're seeing that it preserves that part of the optic nerve called the lamina cribosa. And if you can preserve that volume in the back of the eye, you're also preserving the volume of the hippocampus in the brain. And that's the part of the brain that converts short-term memory into long-term memory. So you know that with Alzheimer's patients, often they have great long-term memory, but they can't remember what happened five minutes ago. That's because the hippocampus is, sh is shrinking. If you can maintain the normal functioning and volume of the hippocampus, you're going to be able to continuously convert short-term memory into long-term memory. As well, melatonin supplementation administered to early-stage Alzheimer's patients has, in many cases, improved their memory, and it's helped to improve sleep quality and duration of sleep, as, and it's, it's reduced feelings and expression of agitation in the late afternoon, which is known as sundowning. For me, the takeaway message is very clear. By age 40 or 45, most of us should consider taking one to two milligrams of melatonin about an hour before you go to sleep at night to help restore more youthful blood and brain levels of melatonin. Not only, um, does melatonin help to improve sleep quality, but it helps to prevent free radical damage to the brain, blocks key steps in Alzheimer's disease development, as I've outlined here. It helps to preserve more youthful functioning of your immune system, which also helps to reduce infection and risk of cancer. 
and it has some direct and indirect anti-cancer properties. And it turns on the longevity genes in our cells known as the sirtuin genes, which are linked to longer and healthier lifespans. So I personally take a melatonin supplement that also contains 5-HTP, GABA, and Bacopa Monieri. These four things work together to improve memory, mood, sleep quality, and the melatonin confers the other benefits that I've discussed in this update. So I've included the key references for melatonin and Alzheimer's disease in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.